Godzilla series is complicated. It's weird. Um, I say a bunch of times that movies are the last original Godzilla movie, but that's just because the, the movies kept getting littler and littler as it went on, becoming more and more modern and giving birth to newer, newer generation Godzillas. And the movies just change a lot. But the real, like, last original Godzilla movie ever made before the last, last one, it's just so complicated. Yeah, I, I, people don't understand it. Godzilla vs. Destoroya was probably the, the last original, like, original, original Godzilla movies. I mean, the last original Godzilla movies. Like, with that whole original characters and plot and all that crap. But the last original, 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 like, real, like, first, like, real, like, still connected with the original movie, Godzilla, the last of that kind of Godzilla, like, the last original Godzilla movie was Godzilla vs. Gigan. That was the last time we'd seen that suit. There was a suit that had been in pretty much every Godzilla movie before Godzilla vs. Gigan, including Godzilla vs. Gigan. The suit was so badly beat up and torn, it's just so sad. You could see stuff flying off of it, and when he lifted his arms up and crap, and the shit had to go. So the new Godzilla came along, which I guess the old Godzilla in the world of Godzilla has crawled into a cave and like died, and some part of him came out and evolved into this new generation Godzilla. And this Godzilla shows up in this movie, Godzilla vs. Megalon. Yay! <laughs> And this movie also features Gigan, which was the last enemy real Godzilla ever fought, like the original Godzilla. Now, this Godzilla design really had to grow on me. I, it took me a while. I really didn't like it. For some reason, before, I, I mean, I like it now, but before, I just looked at it. It seemed childish to me for some strange reason. I don't know why. To me, it just looked really, I don't know, like a kid's kind of design, all stupid and really bright green and, you know, like, just not Godzilla. And honestly, I still do not, even though I like it, I still do not see how they went from that amazing Godzilla design in 1964 when they made Mothra vs. Godzilla. I don't see how they went from that to this Godzilla design. I mean, I think they should have really just stuck with that other Godzilla design. Godzilla designs have came and went, but no, this freaking design was just weird. But it really grew on me, and I'm starting to like it now. So I've gotten used to it, and let's talk about the movie now. The first of a new chapter in the Godzilla series. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Alright. So Megalon's basically Gigan. He's literally Gigan, except a bug version of Gigan. He's like a reptilian kind of bug Gigan. And instead of ha and like instead of the hooks for hands, his hooks are really long, like serrated blades. And he pretty much doesn't have the hacksaw, and that's like the only difference between him and Gigan. And him and Gigan actually stand next to each other pretty much half the movie, and really are with each other. Like, not gay or anything, or they're just with each other, like, um, close and, like, I guess working together. So, you know, very similar characters with semi different appearances. Um, so yeah, Gigan's back in this, and then there's Megalon, of course, and Godzilla. Pretty good movie. I think it was made for TV. It's been on TV a little bit. The design was out there, like I said. These movies are hard to rate because it defeats the purpose to rate them. Because if you rate them for being, you know, bad acting or bad special effects, you're just making it seem like a bad movie. Which the bad acting and bad special effects is what makes it the damn movie. Damn.